guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so it's Watch Work on Wednesday. And I just realized that I'm wearing the same shirt that I was wearing last Wednesday, but it has been washed since. <laughs> I just grab, grab it a lot because it's pink. I love pink. My hair's a little crazy, but that's okay. I got it kind of fixed today. <laughs> Anyways, I am working on two projects you've already seen because I want to get these done, but I feel like it's taken forever. <laughs> but, um,. Yeah, I'm working on it. We've been real busy lately doing stuff, and uh, it's just hard to squeeze in crochet time. It's not that I don't have the time to crochet; it's that I've been choosing to do other things instead of crocheting. <laughs> but I've been—I do try to get some crochet in every day. It's always on my to-do list, <laughs> um, just for like a mental health thing. I like to get a little bit in every day, and um, so I, I usually do a little bit on each of these projects. So it's probably going to take forever to get them done. But I'm trying. <laughs> I've just been busy because, you know, it's getting close to school starting back. So I'm planning for that. And I'm also trying to, we're trying to do like better uh, grocery budget and stuff. I'm trying to do more stuff at home cooking. And, you know, I'm just trying to plan a lot of stuff to make hopefully the fall and winter go smoother than normal. If that makes sense. But anyways, I'm going to hop in here. I got two whips I'm going to share with you guys today. Because I got a little bit of progress done on both of them. So the first one is my trendy puff sleeve sweater. It's a paid for pattern. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head who wrote it, but I'll link the pattern down below. And I'll pop up a picture of what it's supposed to look like, except mine's not going to be solid color. Mine is going to be in uh, Red Heart Super Saver Stripes Retro Stripe, I think is what it's called. Um, so I got the front panel done, and now I'm working on the other panel. The back panel. Um, it doesn't matter. They're both the same, so it doesn't matter which is which. But I've got some work done on it since last time I showed it to you guys. I think I did this this yellow up <laughs> I, I just did that today um uh, just trying to work on it a little bit i would really like to sit down and get this done but like i said i've been choosing to do other things just because we're really busy right now in life you know we got two young kids and uh we're both trying to get so much stuff done you know preparing for our future <laughs> that it's just it's hard to concentrate just on crochet you know i feel like i should be doing other things than just crocheting but i do like i said i'm trying to squeeze it in at least every day a little bit so i've been working on that it's getting there so, like, I am on row, I think, 30. Let me count them. Turn it over. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 28. So, I gotta do 52 rows. So, I'm, I'm getting there. And then I'll make the, um, just like really small, uh, shoulder parts. <laughs> June's in there screaming. Uh, play screaming. But yeah, so I'm getting there. This is the ball that's left so far. Um, I'll probably. We need to open another ball to finish the this because I can't remember. Yeah, I probably will. I'm hoping to have enough yarn to finish this whole thing. <laughs> I'll cross that bridge when I get there though. I don't remember about it. Okay, so that's my one whip. I need to get that done. I've been working on that since February, I think. Um, I want to get it done. And then my next whip is the hair uh not Harry Potter. I don't know why I'm saying Harry Potter. Halloween countdown thing. It's like an advent top thing, but it's for Halloween, so there's little pockets. I'll pop up a picture for you to put like treats down in um counting on halloween i have one for valentine's day and then one for christmas for jesse and now june you know they're going to share them well she probably won't get much use out of this year because she can't really eat anything but uh, maybe by christmas she can eat some candies but um anyways <laughs> i usually put candies down in them for jesse for valentine's day and christmas and then i'm gonna do the halloween one and i want to make one for easter too like a two-week countdown since easter moves around it's on the same day every year um, I thought we kicked back like a two week countdown to Easter. <laughs> Anyways, um, so it's got, uh, the 31 pockets on it and, I mean, I just popped the picture. So I've had it in my library forever and I've been wanting to make it forever. So I finally started it and this is slow going because it's a graph and it's, it takes me a lot more, um, concentration to work on this. This is by, I think the left-handed crocheter. Um, and it's like puff stitches. So I got my hook in there, but it's still attached to yarn. <laughs> Maybe it can just hang there. Yeah. So this is how much I got so far. It's getting there. I'm using a, this is a Red Heart light gray. I'm not sure what the color is because um, it didn't have bobbin. The purple is amethyst and then the black is black. <laughs> and there'll be some other colors close to the top. Uh, there's a moon, which would be like a yellow color. I think that's it. The door was supposed to be dark gray, but I didn't have enough of a dark gray to... Um, Make it so I just use black. I'm trying to think. And then all the pockets will be black and purple. And then there's like a pumpkin, I think, and a ghost applique. And yeah, the Halloween day, the 31st, is like a bigger pocket. It's the one that goes over the door. 
So you can put like a bit bigger treat in there. Maybe one of the little treat bags or something. I don't know. I haven't got the farm. I'm hoping I can get it done before Halloween. <laughs> it's taking forever because um, I'm carrying the yarn in bobbins. That's what they're hanging down there for. <laughs> um, so you do one row of like the puff stitches and single crochets. And then the next row is just single crochet back. You don't have to get you back to the start. And so I've been switching the colors, even the, the single crochet rows, just so that it looks good. And uh, I could have done it with just one color but to make it faster. But then you might have been able to see it through there. And I didn't want to do that. So it is slow going. I'm on row five, I think. Are there six maybe? Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Puff stitch row six. But that's really like the twelfth. Hold on a second. My mom just messaged. I have to message her back. All right. <laughs> I have to message my mom back real quick. Yeah, it's coming along. It's a lot more tedious, like I said, though, because I have to switch yarns so much. And it's a lot harder to do when I have a baby now. But usually I work on this when she's either napping or if I have her distracted with toys or things. Or if she's like in, um, like sometimes I put her in the high chair and give her a bunch of her teethers and she just plays with them and throws them. <laughs> um, so if she's doing one of those things, I will work on this. But this is going to take a while. Um, let's see, it's July, August, and September. So I have a couple months to get it done. Uh, I will decorate for Halloween in September, usually September 1st, possibly August, because it's taking everything I can not to decorate right now. I really want to pull out my Halloween decorations. Um, and I think that people should do what they want to do because, uh, you know, you're only going to be alive for so long, you might as well enjoy every bit of it. <laughs> so, uh, Halloween is one of my favorite things ever. So, it's a really loud truck. Uh, I might just start enjoying it sooner. <laughs> but yeah, I like the way it's looking. I like that it's the puffy stitches. I think it's pretty cool. And then once I get it uh, crocheted, I will probably line it with fabric or maybe felt. I'm trying to think. I don't think I lined the Valentine's Day one. And the Christmas one is a material one anyways. Um, I might not line it. I might just put some weights or something on the corners to help keep it from curling. I don't know. I guess I'll cross that bridge when I get there. But then I'll hang. I'll figure out some way to hang it up with like a, a uh, what are they called? dowel <laughs> or something um my the, the valentine's day one's actually hanging from my old mop handle <laughs> one of those old like swiffer mop handles but i'll figure it out when i get to when i get that far done <laughs> but uh and i might actually add some replicates or something to it i don't know i'll just um uh, once i get the panel done i think they're starting to go quicker because the panel is color work but the pockets are all solid so i think all that will be a lot easier to work with but yeah that's it i have i keep this in the living room um, just on the shelf beside where I normally sit with the yarns. I have the big, um, the big, I have a jumbo black and a jumbo amethyst there. And then I have the gray, which is, is a slightly used skein of like a regular size skein. I'm pretty sure it'll be enough to do, but it's only just the border. So I think it should be okay. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, so, and also keep these, this yarn in there. This isn't a project bag though, because it's like, if we go somewhere in the truck, I, um, I take this with me because I could crochet just it's just single crochets at this point so it's easy for me to just like work on it I actually took it the other day when we went hiking because that's silly me <laughs> I thought oh it's gonna be a nice leisurely hike we're gonna you know hike out to the water and then we can sit there and hang out for a while and I can crochet so I brought my crochet with me we made it to the water and it wasn't the way I wanted it you know like I thought it was gonna be it was supposed to be like a running creek but it was dried up and then there was a river too, but I didn't want to step on the river because there's a bunch of pontoon boats out there and you could tell they were drinking because of the way they were talking and the music and stuff, <laughs> very loud. So we kept the hike going on the hike, which was like a two and a half mile hike. It was just me and Devin. Um, and it ended up being extremely strenuous. We had to cross over some trees that were down from the storm. <laughs> and it was just really interesting. I didn't think we was gonna make it all off. <laughs> we actually crossed into a hunting zone, which I didn't know there were any hiking trails that had hunting zones but there was warning signs when you're going in it and then signs saying that this is now the safe zone so the whole time we were in that hunting zone we were very loud <laughs> me and Devin, we were talking very loud and stuff we wanted to make sure if he was hunting that we didn't get shot um so i thought that was crazy i've never been on a hiking trail in a state park that had a hunting zone in it but i, I don't know i've never this particular park it's just in the, the county my sister lives in i've been to it plenty of times growing up but we never hiked at it we usually just went to the marina and stuff and hung out um, so we wanted to go hike it because we never hiked that park before. And then we did that and I was like, oh my gosh, we could get shot out here. <laughs> I was like, you hear about that all the time. You know, we weren't wearing bright colors. So people could hear, could have heard us and thought we were a deer or something. So we made sure to be very loud. We were talking very loud and singing at some points. <laughs> it was pretty funny. 
but uh, we made it to that hike alive. I did end up with an injury though. I got a blister on the back of my heel. I haven't had a blister in forever, but at one point my shoe was coming untied. I didn't notice it, and so it was causing my cousin its rub. And the only time I noticed it was untied is when I started feeling the pain. But by the time you feel a blister, it's too late. Sorry there. <laughs> but uh, we survived. I took some little video clips and stuff of it. I might put in at the end of this if you guys are interested. Um, just of nature because I'm a nature type person. But uh, yeah, so it was fun. Anyways, I'm going to hop off here because Devin's got to go for work here in a little bit. I got Clem's kitchen where I cooked earlier. And, and then I'm going to deal with the kids and sit down and maybe work on this. I need to like focus on one of these get it done and then focus on the other one um because i need these big whips done so i can work on more little things i did make a hat yesterday which i'll share with you guys eventually for june for this coming colder season uh and i got a few things that i want to start i'm working on I, like we all do i really want to start like a mandala blanket because a lot of like kayla llama mama kayla is making um a mandala blanket and it makes me want to make the mandala madness again I made that I think in 2018 I think it was 2018 yeah because it wasn't it wasn't the first year we lived here it was second year uh and it turned out huge it took 17 skeins of red heart to make it but I did win best in show at the fair it was my first best in show ribbon my second best in show ribbon was a baby blanket that I made I think it was called high tide high tide waves and it was like BB crochet or something like that. I can't remember the designer's name. But that's the two best in shows. This year, um, I don't know if I'm going to enter anything into the fair. And if I do, it's only going to be a couple things. Because I've had a baby. <laughs> um, so I didn't have really time to prepare. But hopefully next by next year, I can, um, you know, she'll be old enough to play and stuff. So I can work on more things. And I take a bunch of stuff to the fair. Because it's so much fun to do that. Um. It's fun to enter in, plus you get some money. So, at our county fair, you don't have to pay to enter. It's free. Um, the only thing you have to pay for is to literally enter the gates <laughs> when you go to see who won. And it's usually like 3 or $4. But, um, you also can win money, though, for each ribbon that you win. So, that's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm going to hop off here and get this edited for you guys. And then I'm going to try to work on this sweater. I need to focus on this and get it done so that it's just done and I don't have to keep doing it. <laughs> but, and I really want to work on this thing, but it's taking, it just takes more concentration that I, I usually, I don't get to work on it much. But I have like two and a half months to get it done. So, <laughs> hopefully I'll have enough time to do that. But I'm going to hop off here and I'll try to see you guys in another day or so uh, in some other videos. I haven't, I've been kind of slacking lately, but it's just because we've been so busy. Uh, it's just busy time in life, I guess. You know, with two little kids, it's hard to find the time to do um extracurricular type things when we're doing family things so yeah but anyways i'll see you whenever i see you and i hope you guys are all doing good let me know what you're working on down below feel free to share any links and stuff and also stay tuned after this to see some random clips of us on a hike it's not actually us it's just like clips i took of nature <laughs> but anyways i'll see you guys in a video bye guys